Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about collision in hashing. And also we're going to talk about the birthday paradox. So let's say uh, we have uh, three numbers here, or three keys, K1, K2, and K3. And the M is equal to 10, so the size of the, our table is equal to 10. And let's say that we are also using the modular hash function that says that for any K, uh, the, our key, so the, the hash function is equal to k modulus of m. So let's see what's the problem. So for the k1, h of k1 is equal to number 12 and the modulus of, of 10, that is equal to number 2. For the other one, for k2, there is no problem because we have number 23 and the modulus of 10 is equal to 3. But the problem is when we have the other number that is uh, k3 that is equal to 42 and also the modulus of this number is equal to number 2. So that's when we face the problem. We have two keys that both have the same uh, uh, same index okay in the hash table so that's going to cause a problem so we need to somehow uh, provide this issue later we're going to learn how to how we can manage and uh, manage these uh, collision but now also uh, here we're going to see that what's going to be the probability of having uh, the co having collision in uh, in hash tables Although we might we may uh, think that it's might uh, we just having in just a few numbers okay let's say we have ten numbers and our hash table is of size fifty and we may think that oh we have a plenty of time uh, plenty of spaces uh, so we might not be worried about uh, like the, having the collision but as we will see uh, as the birthday product says okay uh, the probability of having collision is really high so next we're gonna talk about birthday paradox now let's take a look at the birthday paradox problem so given a set of n randomly chosen people okay what's the probability that two people have the same birthday so let's see uh, let's take a look at this uh, this problem using some example so we uh, like we have uh, 365 days in a year okay and uh, we are considering when we have two people, or we have three randomly chosen people, or four. And for each one, uh, we're going to see that what's going to be the probability of having the same birthday. But let's look at this problem in other way. So the probability of having the same birthday, okay, so I'm going to call it the probability of having x, in that x is the, like having the same birthday, okay, it's equal to one minus p prime of x that is that the probably one that's number one minus the probability that two person doesn't have the same probably uh, the same birthday so let's see that how it works if n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 365 okay so the probably uh like the probably the uh, the the first person is one of these uh, 365 days is equal to 1. So 365 multiplied by 365. So we are multiplying this by the probability of this, uh, like the second person, okay, uh, was born in another day other than the uh, day that the first person uh, was born. That is 364 multiplied by 365 so that's the probability that they are not born in the same year so the probability of having they uh, these two person will be uh, was were born in the same day is equal to 1 minus this number that is 1 minus uh, let's write it p is equal to okay p of, let's write p of x Sorry about that. So P of X is equal to one minus, so let's write it, this is equal to P prime of X. So P prime of X is equal to one minus 364 
uh, divided by 365. Now, what if n is equal to three or four? Okay, so the probability of these uh, the four person uh, four people are not uh, were not born in the same uh, the same day. Okay, is equal to so p prime of x is equal to 365 divided by 365 multiplied by 364 multiplied by 365 multiplied by 363 and finally we have this one so that's a probability of these four people are not born in the same uh, day. So then uh, the problem that they are born in the same, uh, uh, like uh, we have uh, like two person, two people that have the same birthday will be one minus the number that we have just calculated here. So it's gonna be one minus this p prime x that we calculated above. If we generalize the formulas, we will reach uh, these formulas that we see here. So we have uh, p prime of x uh, is equal to the product of i equal to 2 to n, then n is the number of people that we have, uh, and the 365 minus i plus 1 divided by 600, uh, 365. So the probability of uh, two people, uh, like the probability of uh, some people have the two people have the same birthday, will be equal to one minus that uh, prime, like p prime. That's going to be one minus product of i equal to two n, three hundred sixty-five minus i plus one divided by uh, uh, three hundred and sixty-five. Next, I'm going to show you uh, the like one chart of these values for uh, one equal to 665, and you will see that uh, how the Bernoulli paradox works. So that's the diagram for uh, probability uh, values for uh, like each different number. So as you see, when the n is almost equal to number about 40, okay. So about well, let's see the value. So when the the number of people that we have is equal to about 40 people. So the probability of uh, having uh, uh, people that have uh, that have the same birthday will be about uh, like 89 percent. Okay, and when we reach, for example, the uh, the value, the number of people equal to about 70. Now it's it becomes out almost equal to one. So that's gonna be a very uh, big number. So it may surprise you that, uh, you know, you may think that, okay, uh, so we have like 70 people, so uh, the probability should be really low uh, to have the same birthday. But as we see here, and as we calculate it, the probability of having the collision is high. So the same thing uh, also, uh, the same uh, like concept is for when we are doing the hashing. So uh, it means that uh, even with having a, a, like the, let's say that we have a 365 spots in our hash table and we have 20 numbers. As we see here, uh, it, the, probability, uh, the probability of having the, the same numbers, okay, might be equal to like almost half of the, uh, like having the collision is about like the 40%. Or when we, for example, when we have 23 numbers, Okay, the probability of having uh, like the collision is about 50%. That is the high number. Next, uh, we are gonna like talk about uh, like the uh, some uh, like the open uh, hashing and also the closed hashing.